Traveling Ronin here. This week we're going to break a little bit from our normal format in order to cover the Action Martial Arts Magazine Convention. It was held in Atlantic City, put on by a gentleman, Master Alan Goldberg. It was a fantastic convention, one of the biggest that is out there in the world, not just to mention here in North America. And they had amazing seminars. Let's go check it out. The first seminar that we went to go see was by Sifu Nick Faruqi of Street Safe 101 and Ballistic Fighting Methods. He was covering a class on how to do knife fighting, but primarily how to teach knife fighting. What we ended up learning was a lot on how to break it down, how to develop different skill attributes uh, in the students that you're teaching, different exercises you could work with them in, and as you're going to see in the following videos, it was a ton of fun. The next seminar that we went to go see was by my friend Sifu Tom Lugo. I credit Sifu Tom Lugo with really having gotten the whole traveling Ronin involved, going. He's the very first person I ever stopped in to go see continues to inspire me to today with our 10 second techniques being based off it. And at the seminar, there was no difference. He continues to inspire with a very simple seminar focusing on how to do superior striking and how to hit a little bit harder. He chose to take very, very easy things that you could bring to whatever art you were working on in order to hit better, hit harder, and hit faster. <laughs> Right. Here being, being stricken. Well, once I'm here, I'll just swing this down and rub it. Ah, okay. Got it. So this just went from here. Boom. 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 Okay. Wide and go. Boom. 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 Come over the top. Yeah. Michael J. White is an actor and director. You may recognize him from films like Blood, Bone, Spawn, as well as he's directed Never Back Down 2. Uh, he gave an amazing talk about what it means to be a martial artist, how you use that to go make a difference, and how you should be thinking about your own training. Okay. Right? Last stronger bench press. That's like a, a sidekick going like this, as opposed to that. Okay, one goes straight yeah. to the point, can't get away from it. If I'm physically gifted and it takes me a thousand kicks, a thousand techniques to become fatigued, and a man smaller than me takes a hundred to become fatigued, his training starts at 101. My training starts at 1001. It's not about how much more that I did than him. That's, that's the track. If you don't know Bill Superfoot Wallace, he's one of the best kickboxers of his era. 
Now, what was also amazing was he gave one of the most entertaining seminars I have ever been to, and it was focusing a lot on how to cloak your strikes with different movements so you became more effective and you didn't give your opponent time to strike back. In short, you always kept sparring in your court. Let's go take a look. We're going to actually do a full video on that seminar. We'll give just a brief teaser here. Watch. Boom. 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 Beep. Boom. 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 Beep. Boom. 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 Beep. Got it. Samuels or Bobby Samuels is a movie star who taught us a lot on how to use our martial arts in film. Film martial arts is very different from real martial arts as you want to make it look good so that the viewer can appreciate what is going on. Now Bobby Samuels is a stuntman, he worked in Hong Kong, as I say he's done a lot of action movies, worked with Jackie Chan as an action movie star, so he was a great guy to learn from in order to make sure that we were actually going to be filming uh, our own demos, uh, and when we do film our own demos as martial artists, to make sure that the action looked good and it looked convincing. So, we'll go see if we actually managed to apply enough of what Mr. Samuels taught us uh, out in the real world. Ah, okay. I'm just here. to make sure it doesn't hit me in the face. I got that right here, right now. Watch my hands. Right. Yeah. right. Come on. Right. right. Now watch. See my hand right here? I'm going to grab it. Strike it. Hit it. Go over. Okay. Got it. seminar that unfortunately we weren't allowed to film at was with David Nimeroff. Uh, he's an Aikido master who taught some Aikido uh, knife defense. It was a lot of fun. Certainly worth checking out if you get together with David Nimeroff. Uh, so if you like Aikido, certainly go check out what he does. In closing, I really want to thank all the martial artists and instructors who made this possible. From Nick Faruqi to Tom Lugo to Bobby Samuels to Paul Chang, to everyone else who helped make this weekend so fantastic. It was a lot of fun to go participate in. If you'd like to get a more in-depth review uh, in the next week or two, you're gonna be able to go onto the blog. You'll be able to see that we'll have a review of what we thought the highlights were, as well as the lowlights of the seminar. So you can get a little bit more in-depth on the blog. The link for that is down below. Uh, you can also go see our full gallery on Facebook, so go leave a comment on Facebook, go check out the gallery there. As well, if you like this video, click on the subscribe button, leave a comment for us. It definitely always helps us out, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. So again, big thanks to everyone who helped make this video possible. We really appreciate it. I'm the Traveling Ronin. Keep training hard.